how to multiply numbers in index notation. In this video, I will show you step by step on how to solve this type of question and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first question. For question number 1, simplify the following. 2 power 4 times 3 power 7 times 2 power 6 times 3 square times 2 square. To solve this question, we have to use law number 1, which is a power m times a power n equals to a power m plus n. So it means that the multiplication of two or more numbers or algebraic terms with the same base can be simplified by using this law. First of all, we write down the question, which is 2 power 4 times 3 power 7 times 2 power 6 times 3 square times 2 square. Okay, next, we rearrange them according to the same base. So here we have base 2 and we have base 3. So equals, so I'm going to write down base 2 first, which is 2 power 4 times 2 power 6 times 2 square times, okay, for base 3, it will be 3, 3 power 7 and 3 power 2. So 3 power 7 and 3 power 2. So next, we are going to add the indices of the numbers with the same base. For base 2, it will be 4 plus 6 plus 2, okay, times, for base 3, it will be 7 plus 2. So equals, so for base 2, it will be 4 plus 6 plus 2 is power 12. For base 3, it will be 7 plus 2, so power 9. Okay, so please take note that numbers with different bases cannot be simplified anymore. Therefore, we take this as the final answer. For question 2, simplify the following 3p squared times 2q cubed times 5p power 4. For this question, we are going to use law number 1, which is a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals to a to the power of m plus n. Okay, first of all, I'm going to write down the question given, which is 3p squared times 2q cubed times 5. P4. So equals 3 times 2 times 5. So these are the coefficients which I'm going to group them together first. And then times, I'm going to rearrange it, rearrange it according to the same base, which is p square times p power 4 and times q cube. Okay? So equals, so 3 times 2 times 5 is 30. Okay, and then times p. 2 plus 4, because they are the same base, I can add up the indices. So times q cube. Okay? So equals 30 p. So 2 plus 4 is 6. I'm going to bring down the q cube. So this is the final answer. Okay? We can omit the multiple sign for the final answer. For question 3, simplify the following. 6k square times 9m square times m times 2 over 3k cube. For this question, we're going to use law number 1, which is a power m times a power n equals to a power m plus n. So first of all, I'm going to write down the question given, which is 6k power 2 times 9m power 2 times m times 2 over 3k power 3. Okay, 
Next, I'm going to group them together. I'm going to group all the coefficients together as well as rearrange all the terms with the same base. So it will be 6 times 9 times, so this coefficient is 1, I'm going to write it down here, times 2 over 3. So these are the coefficients. And then times, okay, there will be m and m here. So m squared and m. So m squared times m, okay? And then times, so it'll be k squared here and k cubed. I'm going to group them together here. k squared and k cubed. Okay, so equals. So I'm going to use the calculator to calculate this. 6 times 9 times 1 times 2 over 3 will be 36 times m. So m squared, so 2 plus 1, so 2 plus 1, okay, times, and here will be k, so k, 2 plus 3, okay? So equals 36 times m cubed times k power 5, okay? So final answer, we can omit the multiple sign and it's best that we give our answer in alphabetical order whereby k power 5 comes first, okay? Then only m cubed. So 36 k power 5 and m cubed. So this is the final answer. Well, that's all for now. Do you wish to see more videos like this? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!